what is up y'all it is mo and today's video is a fourth of july plan with me in my long vertical classic style happy planner-esque layout um i'm using some washi i'm using some foil overlays i'm using some foiled boxes and i'm using the free uh fourth of july printable i have up on my patreon page if you're thinking about joining the um printable of the month club which I've rebranded to the sticker club, then you can download this and see if it's something that you'd like to join. Uh, a lot of the stickers that I'm offering are going to be sized for the long vertical or your classic happy planner style um, because that's what I use and that's what I like. And so that's what is available on uh, most of the time in the sticker club. So um, it's $3 a month. You can get access to an ever-growing library of stickers. It's, I think, personally amazing deal because you can, like, immediately on your first month, like, download, like, a butt ton of stickers. It's ridiculous. So I drew out my layouts using this uh, template that I created. This is also free in the uh, description of this video. So there's a long vertical and then a uh, standard vertical template if you'd like my dog is like chewing on something in the background if you'd like to use either one of those um, So yeah, I am drawing this layout out and I'm gonna actually take this chance to or this opportunity to chat with you guys about how Mad I am that I thought my July start planner started on July 5th. Are you kidding me? I have flipped through and was like, okay, um, this looks like it doesn't start until the 5th. Like, that's so odd. So I was like checking and looking and I was like, okay, I guess it really doesn't start till the 5th. So I'll do my 4th of July spread in my um, bullet journal. Like, whatever, that's fine. I'll draw one more layout. Like, I'll just include it in my June flip through. Like, it'll be okay. So I get done filming this video and I'm like, this cannot be right. It cannot be right that a July start planner does not start on July 1st. Like I am missing something. So guess what? The two daggum pages between the monthly and the start of the weekly layouts was like somehow stuck together. So thankfully, and what I love about being able to make my own stickers and making my own stickers and doing all my own stuff, like being creative then that way is that I just reprinted and refoiled. I mean, I was angry that I had to do that, but I just reprinted and refoiled everything and then made the new spread in my um, actual planner, like in my new July start planner. I just went ahead and made that spread. So, um, so this, I like did this spread twice, I guess. I don't know. Zach helped me to pick out this washi tape for this spread. I don't know if you took a look at the layout like not the layout but the the sticker page right there it has um washi tape on the side because i was trying to figure out what washi tape to use and so zach helped me pick it out and he said i think the best thing would probably be this um floral red washi tape i don't know where i got it from i feel like it's from the target dollar spot like a while ago i'm not sure i don't know where it came from and i think that i had like a wood grain and i think that would have gone really well with it but i used the wood grain last year and i was like i don't want to use it again so then i have again i don't know where this like blue star stripe type of washi is from i have no clue i don't know where i got it um but i use that there to kind of create a little divider and then i go to set down this uh box which this is usually how i set up my planner when i am using um this style of sticker kit um so i set down the brown ish tannish box and then i pull in some of these firework um stickers i have these in the shop i think they will be up with that by the time this video goes up but it's just little boxes that you can cut with your cricut explorer and i may do a video on it because it's kind of a little bit tricky the way i design things for mostly being for the cricut explorer it doesn't really translate well to being um able to be used in like silhouette studio and like changing colors and stuff because you actually have to have the shape like the background shape uh, for the Cricut Explorer to, or Cricut Maker or whatever to cut it out. So I made these little boxes. They have little outlines and you can just print them on your toner printer and then foil them. And when I was doing this spread, I had foiled them in silver, but when I had to refoil and redo everything, I decided to do the foil boxes in red because I had red um, foil in my collection. So I just decided to foil it with red and I still kept the um, firework 
uh, foiled overlays as silver in the new spread. And speaking of the firework overlays that I'm putting down now, these are also in the shop. If you would like some free foiled overlays for like the 4th of July, 4th of July, I created some standard vertical ones for um, the inauguration uh, in 2021. Uh, in January. So there's some fireworks. There is some like presidential like quotes like says we did it Joe and one says I'm speaking. Um, but you can totally use just the fireworks. And I think there's like star bottom washi if you are using a standard vertical um, A5 wide type of layout. You can download those for free. But the long vertical ones are in the shop. I'll leave them linked down below. I've been loving like creating my own foiled overlays. And the struggle is real when you're a long vertical planner, but you love to use um, the foiled overlays on your like planner spreads. And the only place that I found that makes overlay tapes, like the ones on the roll was Girl Boss Anna. And I don't think she does that size anymore because I can understand it's not really popular with a lot of people that do foil overlays. A lot of people that are using the foiled overlays are going to be planners that are um, using standard vertical or a Stell A5 wide type of dealio. So they're not going to want the size for a like happy planner box, I guess. Um, this is just the standard way I usually lay down my um, like base when I'm using a kit like this. Uh, I feel like I designed this perfectly for like what I need in my planner and all these elements. I pretty much use all of them um, in my planner. I'm kind of making decisions here, but I will put down the full boxes where I want them. Then I'll put the overlays on. Then I will put the um, checklist down to create balance. Like I'm doing like all at the same time, I guess like all elements at the same time, if that makes sense to kind of create balance. So I do the long checklist and then I'll go in with the like grid boxes and then I'll go in with my headers. And I am trying to remember to keep space to put the, um, I'm gonna put some of the star washi above some of those gridded boxes. And so I'm trying to keep that in mind. I'm also trying to keep in mind that I need to leave space to use my, um, foiled little boxes that I want to use. And so this, this spread is like a delicate balance of a lot of stuff. Um, but I really do like the way that this, the planner layout, or I guess the sticker kit layout is, I get a lot of use out of it and I really like it. And honestly, when I really like this layout, so I was upset that I had planned not where I was supposed to plan. I just literally copied the exact same layout and put it in my, my new July star planner. I didn't even change anything because I really liked how this was and I didn't want to think about it anymore. Um, so here's more of those like foiled overlay boxes. And I will say the foiled, foiled overlay boxes come like, I don't know how many are on a page. You can slice it down to be like four, like four of these little sticker sheets that I have. And it looks to be like three, six, nine, twelve. So those like twelve quote unquote designs per those four boxes. So what is that? 24, 48. So there's 48 design, 48 boxes total. And you'll have like a half box and a third box, maybe. Maybe not even a half box. It's probably not as big as a half box. But you have three dis uh, sizes for each design. And there's like bows and stars and ones that are more, I don't want to say user friendly, but more that you can use like anytime. And then you have ones that are fireworks and you have ones that are rainbows and you have ones that have moons and like lunar designs. And then there's another one. Oh, and then the other one that's like birthday. So you get all of these together. And what I usually do is I print them and I cut them and trim them down if I need to and foil them as needed. Like I made three sets four sets. I made four sets and I foiled them silver, gold, hollow, and rose gold. And then if I would like to print more for like a specialty or like novelty, I guess, foil, when I had to redo all of this, I printed a whole new sheet. I cut it and I only foiled the, I trimmed it down to where only the, um, fireworks were on the little section. And I just foiled that little section with red. So now if ever I'm like, oh, dang, I want to use like a pink sparkly hollow type of thing and I want to use some of those boxes, I'll just foil those boxes with that um, with with that specialty foil. 
Um, so I can't really figure out what I'm doing here. I think I finished up laying down a lot of things. Um, I went through and did the washi tape at the top over the like gridded boxes like I said I wanted to do. Now I'm going to put in some of the little bullet points that I have. And I think, I can't, I don't know if I went through and did this already, but I'm going to use sort of like overlay headers um, from, I'm going to trim them using my X-Acto knife from the foiled, I guess, that I was using and put those over like the star washi tape. And then I was really liking, or I do really like when you use a sticker kit, um, like a standard vertical sticker kit, you get a page flag type of dealio. And I liked putting that at the top and I got out my Magical Sticker Co. Um, what do you call it? Monthly labels and put that at the top. So this is pretty much done. I still have to get my overlay tapes and do the Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday, but I will do that later and set this all up. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, check out my Patreon, follow me on Instagram. It's at five sixteenths and give this video a like and subscribe because I'd love to see you stick around for a while and see what else I have on my channel. I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.